Hey guys, welcome back to another video of solving a lead code programming problem step by step. In this video, we're going to talk about the problem shortest distance to target string in a circular array. So let's move to the problem. The problem states you are given a zero index circular string array words and a string target. A circular array is basically an array where the end of the array connects with the starting point. So if this is the starting point of the array and this is the ending point of the array, this ending point will start will connect with the starting point and the next word of the end point will be the starting word okay so we are also provided with a start index the start index can be any index in between the array and we can either move to the next word of the start index or previous word of the start index and our goal is to reach the target string that is provided and find the shortest distance if the target string is not present in array words we can directly return minus one so that is the problem and now let's look at a few examples. So the first example, the words array contain hello, I am lead code hello. Okay. And the target is hello. There are two target words in this array and the start index is one that is basically I. So there are four distances from this starting point to the target word. We can go either to the left of this starting point or we can go to the right of the starting point. So if we go left at the very first distance, we find one target word. And again, because the circular array, it connects to the end. So at the second distance, we find another target word. And if we go to the right of this I, the first target word we encounter is at the distance three. Okay. And again, it connects to the start point of the array. So the next target word is one, two, three and four. Okay. So there are four distances and the shortest distance is one. Basically that is to the left most word of the starting index. So the final answer is one. Similarly, in another problem, the words are A, B and lead code. Target is lead code and the starting index is zero. That is word A. Okay. Now, if we go to the left of the starting index, we find the distance to reach the target word is one. And if we go to the right, we'll find the distance to reach the target word is two. Okay. Finally, the shortest distance is one. In example three, the target word is not present in the words array. So the final output is minus one. Okay. And before we start with the solution, okay, let's look at a few diagrammatic examples. Okay. So here in the first diagram, you can see that there are four words. Hello, this is lead code and the index are also given here 0, 1, 2 and 3. The starting point is this target word is hello. Okay. Now there are two ways to reach this target word. Either we go to the left or we go to the right. If we go to the right and encounter the very last word, we can again start with the very starting point and try to reach the starting point again. Okay. So our ending point will be the previous word to the starting point. Okay. So if we go to the left distance to the target word is one. And if we go to the right, then is one, two and three. The distance to the target word is three. Okay. So left gives us a distance of one and right gives us a distance of three. Now one more thing to notice here is that left distance plus right distance is Four, that is the length of the array. Okay, so this is the length of the array. So basically we can say that if we find the distance towards the left, then we can find the distance towards the right just by doing length of the array minus right. Okay, this is the second example. Hello, this is lead code. Hello, and the target word is hello that is present two times. Okay, now the starting point is this again and if we go to the left we don't have to find the distance to each of the target words that is present there. We can find the shortest distance on the left side and we can find the shortest distance on the right side. Shortest distance on the left side is 1. Okay, if we go to the left, the distance to the target word is 1. And if we go to the right, the shortest distance to the target word is 1, 2 and 3. So right distance is 3. Now minimum of this 2 is 1. So the final answer will be 1. One more thing to note here. So suppose we are starting with the starting index one. Okay. Then we go to two. Okay. That's fine. Three is fine. Then we go to four. Okay. And if I keep on incrementing, it will be five. Okay. But five index is not present in this array. So what we can do instead is we can do five mod the length of the array. Okay. So the length of the array is five. Okay. Five mod five is zero. So that will move us to the first word. Okay. And for every such index. So suppose I, if we do just I mod N. Okay. So if, if the index is one mod five, that will be one. That's fine. That's present in the array. And if the index is seven, okay, then seven mod five is two. So it's again present in the array. Two indexes present in the array. So if the index is going beyond four, then we can do that index 
mod 5 okay so that is one more thing to note cool so now let's try to understand the solution we will be specifically looking at two solutions here but there can be multiple solutions to that problem and if you have any other solutions just post that in the comments so let's try to understand the first solution let me draw a box here here we can write the solution in english words so first step is finding out all the target words in the array and we can just make a note of the indices so find out all the target words and we are going to save the indices in a list and the indices can be called as target ind list okay if no target word is present if no target word is found then we can return minus one okay cool let me increase the size of the box now the next thing we were going to do is we can run a loop over the target indices and find the shortest distance from the starting index from the starting index to to particularly that target index okay from the left and right side the third step is find the minimum distance find the minimum shortest distance okay that's it i think that's what we have to do now let's try to type out this solution in lead code so first thing is uh, finding the target indices and before we do that we can just find the length of the array so length of the array is len of words and that is saved in n okay now we can find the target indices okay so for i in range n okay if words i equals equals target okay so this will give us the indices of the targets in the words array okay now if the target list is empty that is if not target we can return minus one what is the next step the next step is loop over the target indices and find the shortest distance from the starting index from left and right side okay so we'll loop over the target indices so for i and d in target indices we have to find the distance shortest distance from left and right so what i told you is if the distance uh, from the left is target ind minus start index okay ind minus start index so if this is the distance from the left side then the distance from the right side will be n that is the length of the array minus target ind minus start index right now we can do one thing here so if the index is less than the start index this can be a negative value so we can do abs here okay so absolutely will get the absolute value so again abs here also so suppose if this is the distance to the left side okay then n minus that distance is to the right side so this is giving us the minimum distance from the left and right side okay now one more step we can find the shortest distance that is minimum of this distance that we have found here and the shortest distance okay so let me just reduce the size a bit so i think this is it we can just return the shortest distance now you might think that we have not defined the shortest distance and you are correct we can now define the shortest distance and the shortest distance can be any number bigger than any indices okay because we are trying to find the minimum value between this and this okay we cannot give a shortest distance as zero because every time the shortest distance will be minimum okay zero or minus one here okay we cannot give that we have to find the largest number okay and use that as shortest distance that time if the distance is one or two or three that will be minimum okay so how to do that we can just do that using float infinity so this is the highest number present in float data type and now let us try to run this and yep that gives a correct result okay if you have any issue in understanding the solution please post that in the comments and we'll try to answer it out but let's check the result in submission 
and it passes okay so it gives us a correct answer that's great let's try to understand the time complexity and space complexity so we are taking a new target array we are creating a new target array and suppose if all the words in the array is target word okay then this target indices will have a maximum length of n okay that is the length of the array so the space complexity is big o of n where n is the maximum length of the arrays so let's write it out so space complexity is big o of n and time complexity is again big o of n because we are going through each word one time here okay we are going through each of the words in the words array one time so time complexity is big o of n okay so i'll just make another box here yep and let's start to type out the solution okay so the first thing we can do here let's look at the example so we can go so this is starting word okay we can start with this word and we can go to the right okay we can go towards the right and find the distance from the starting word to the right word okay we can go one step at a time and find the distance to this right word similarly we can go to the left okay and once we come across the first word we can start from the last word okay we can go to the left and start from the last word we can go to the left and find the shortest distance okay so that is what we are going to basically do and finally we are going to return the shortest distance between left and right okay so let's start with that we can start from the starting point starting index okay go to the left and find the distance to the target word okay similarly we can go to we can start from the starting word starting index and go to the right go to the right and find the shortest distance find the shortest distance to the right to the right okay finally return the minimum of left and right and as left and right are two variables okay we have to define at the very beginning at the very beginning we have to define left and right with the value of minus one okay so suppose if any target word is not found on the left side or on the right side okay if any side it is not found okay so the final answer will be minus one so we can start with defining minus one so let's try to write this problem and this might be a bit easier to look at okay so let's try to write the code so we have two things start and go to the right okay first thing and start and go to the left one more thing if we come across the last word to the right side we can again begin from the first word okay and similarly if we go across the first word in the left side we can again start from the last word next we can run a loop and first let me define left and right okay left comma right equals minus one comma minus one so list length can again be n so l equals to length of words now there are two more things to define first is the starting point that is the i equals to start index this is just making a copy of the starting point and a counter can be useful okay so counter is let's say start from zero so this counter can have a maximum value of the length of this list okay so that is what we are going to use and the loop okay so if counter is less than length of the list okay so suppose the length of the list is five okay and every time we are running the loop we are incrementing the counter one step so if we reach the distance five we can stop the loop so counter plus equals one okay we are incrementing the counter now we are going to the right side we can first find the words okay and the starting index is i so words i mod n so let's do word equals to words i mod n so i i mod n so suppose if the value or is the, if the distance is zero okay sorry if the starting index is one and the length of the list is five okay then easily the answer is one here one mod five okay and that is the correct index okay 
now if we have reached an index of 5 okay so 5 mod 5 that is the length of the list is 0 so we have starting again with the first word that's why we are doing i mod n okay so this is the word and if word equals equals target we can assign the counter value okay right equals to counter and break from this loop okay and finally we have to increment the start index also this is for the right side and for the left side a similar thing so while counter is less than n we can increment the counter and word equals to word i mod n words i mod n if word equals equals target then left equals to counter break and as we are going to the left the value of i will decrement every time so i minus equals one okay one more thing here we have to define start index again and counter should be again zero okay counter should start with zero cool now finally after the end we can just return the minimum value of left and right and as we have already defined left and right with minus one if the word this if this is not encountered okay the value will be minus one so let's try to run this and see if there is any error cool that passes all the test cases and now let's try to submit it great that passes all the test cases and again the time and space complexity for this is as we are not using any extra array here so the space complexity is constant that is big o of one and we are iterating over each of the words okay uh, so again worst case time complexity is big o of n so let me just write it pretty quick space complexity big o of one and that is constant and time complexity is big o of n so that is another way to solve this problem and there are a few more ways to solve this problem so try to solve it in another method and maybe you can post the solution or the steps to do that solution in the comment section and that's it that's the solution for this problem we will come back with a different problem next time until then take care